Hi everyone. Um, I wanted to show my new pillow cake pans from Wilton. Um, what I usually do is I bake the square cakes and carve them out and I have a YouTube tutorial on that. And one of the comments that someone left me was, well it's easier just to use the uh, pillow cake pans. Um, maybe. I'm going to try it today. Um, but when I started doing the pillow cakes, there were no pillow cake pans, so you had to bake the squares and carve them out yourself, which is pretty easy. Um, someone who had used these before said so they didn't like the pans too well, so I'm going to give it a try myself and I'll let you guys know how I like it. Um, I am baking a 10 inch. The set actually comes with um, three pans and a heating core. The heating core is to use with the largest size pan. So the sizes are six and three fourths by six and three fourths. That's the little one. Then this one, which is the ten by ten by two, and then the big one is thirteen and a quarter by thirteen and a quarter by two. So you're supposed to use the heating core for the big one. And this is a pretty pillow cake that they did with the pans. So we will see if it comes out just as good as their picture. Now for the batter, it says that it takes about 10 cups for each pan. That seems a little high to me because a 10 inch square pan takes about 5 to 6 cups. So I'm going to try it out now, stick them in the oven, and I'll be back. Okay, so here are the pans filled. Um, it's just to fill them about 2 thirds. I think that's about 2 thirds. Um, it took about 5 and a half to 6 cups each pan. Whereas the instructions say it would take about nine cups each. Um, but we'll see how they turn out. We'll be back. Hi everyone. Here is the baked pillow cake. Um, they poofed up quite a bit here, so I guess I will have to level it before I put them together. And they also looked a little overdone on the sides, which doesn't happen with my square cakes. So that's another downside with these um, shaped pans like the ball pan, the doll pan. They usually take longer to bake because of the curves of the cake. And then the edges come out a little overdone, which I am not too pleased about. Hmm. I don't know. I'll have to see once I level the cake how the cake turned out on the inside. But this outer edge is really bothering me because it really shouldn't be that crispy. I know I don't like crispy edges on the cake. But um, we'll see the finished product. Talk to you soon. Well, the cake came out pretty nice. Nice curves. My only concern is the outer edge, but I guess I can trim this little bit right there. We'll be back.